Hello everyone, this is Graham from Unbox Tech Reviews, where today we're going to have a look at the AZ Tyne 15.6 inch HD portable display. So I'll just chuck some specifications out there now, get them out of the way. So this has a resolution of 1920 by 1080, so it's a full HD IPS display with a ratio of 16.9. It has mini HDMI. Type-C full function data and power, Type-C port power, 3.5mm audio and it's 5 volt 2 amp power supply. So we'll go ahead and open the box, there's not much to show on the box itself. Let's so get the, the screen there, let's put it to one side while we get everything out of the box. Little warranty information there. And this cable is your HDMI full size to mini HDMI. So you can use that to, to plug in whatever you want. This cable is your USB to USB, USB Type C to USB Type C cable, so you can connect things like your phone if you've got a USB phone, USB C phone like a Samsung Galaxy, something like that. And this cable is your USB to Type C power. Get your user manual there. You're worth a quick flick through with that. And underneath here, you've got a plug, standard UK three pin plug there with your USB power supply. So I will put the box to one side and have a look at this screen you see it comes in like a soft touch folio case that is magnetic you see it stands up really nice what i'll do first i'll take it out so you can see it just comes off because it's got the magnets on the case then you can see power supply Volume up and down. Hey, you button your power supply, your volume up and down. And on this side, you've got your headphone jack, your USB Type C, and your mini HDMI. And on the side there, you can see your speaker grill. Nothing else. Nice metal back. Really nice screen. So then that just clips in there with your magnets and stands up like so so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this up to my Nintendo Switch and I'll show you it in action, go through the menu on the screen itself and show you how it runs with the Nintendo Switch so I think I've got it connected up to my Nintendo Switch now. I'm just using this external power supply to monitor, uh, to power the monitor for now, just for the review purposes. So I hope you can see the quality. It's really good, as good as it is on my TV. That's just connected to the Nintendo Switch docking station there via the included HDMI, the mini HDMI cable. Absolutely no problems with it whatsoever. The sound quality comes out perfect. The picture quality, really, really good. Full HD image, can't complain at all. And you can see you can adjust the levels of the screen, the angles, so you can get to where you want
It's really, really good. Nice. Seems to be a really well made product, really good quality. You can see the nice silver bezel around the edge of the screen there. A nice touch. A silver bit at the bottom there. All like brushed metal finish. Nice soft touch case. It's really well thought out. Everything works as it should with the display. It's really handy as well for things like this. If you want to um, game and away from the TV, if the kids are taking over your telly, set this up. Perfect. So you can see the sound quality there. It's really good. Use the little volume rocker on the side. Drop the volume. Press it in to get your menus. As you can see there HDMI, HDI mode, HDR mode auto. You just click it in and then you can select. Change it there, see? HDR mode auto. Press the little power button to go back. Again, press it in. Change the aspect radio ratio. Keep it on the, on the wide one. Color temperature. Warm, cool, user. Just leave it on the user one. On screen display, timer, language, transparency. And then you can reset all your settings and take it off. So I would say the speakers are actually really good. Good sound, good loud quality. Not much distortion whatsoever. And the screen seems to have, it has like a matte finish. It's not massively shiny. So it does deflect a bit of the sunlight or natural light bouncing off it. So that's another bonus in my eyes. Makes it really good for this type of thing. Gaming, you know, you can plug this in the car for the kids, watch films on in the back. Really good quality. So that's just a quick clip of it playing with the Nintendo Switch there. So I'll just pause the video there and then I'll see if I can connect up to my little Windows TV box so I can show you some videos playing on it and stuff through that. So I'll be right back. So I've now got it connected up to my Windows TV box. So I'm just show you. Some videos playing on it. I'll tell you what, go to YouTube and we'll have a look at some video samples. Really nice quality screen as you can see. I'll try and zoom in a little bit so you can see the quality there. Come up with that one. And try. Let's come up with there. And go to my Plex Media Server. 
see if we can see what a video is like on here kids use my Plex all the time so I've got some nice films on there for them Turn the volume up. Again, looks fantastic. Sound quality is really good. You've got the 3.5 mil audio jack there, so they can put the headphones in. It's a really impressive screen. Everything plays really well through it when you connect up, like you're seeing the switch, and now the Windows PC. That's a really tidy screen. So that's about as much as I can show you for it at the moment and um, there'll be a link in the description that will take you to the Amazon page where you can buy this product if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel there's going to be more videos coming up shortly got some good products in the pipeline so thanks for watching guys see you next time